Now 602 and all new this morning, officials at Ivy Tech say they will not ask the U.S. Supreme Court to weigh in on a federal appeals court ruling just yesterday extending the protections of the 1964 Civil Rights Act to LGBT employees at the workplace. WSBT 22's Alex Elich is live from the newsroom this morning tracking the very latest. Alex, this discrimination case was actually filed about three years ago by a South Bend woman. Bob, Ivy Tech maintains it did not discriminate against Kim Hively, but when Hively was unable to move from part-time teaching position to a full-time at the South Bend campus, she said discrimination was at play. She believes the school would not promote her because she is a lesbian. It took more than three years, but yesterday in an 8-3 to decision, a federal appeals court in Chicago ruled that the LGBT workers like Hively are entitled to protection in the workplace. Now under the 1964 Civil Rights Act. There's a huge win here, and yet, for me personally, this just been a baby step. Because now it's just, you know, somebody acknowledging the fact that my employer bullied me, and I'm now allowed to go into court and say, this wasn't the right thing to do. Now, as a result of the ruling, Hively hasn't won anything from Ivy Tech, but the decision does give her legal standing in court to move forward with a discrimination case against her past employer. At the Live Desk, I'm Alex Elich, WSBT 22 News. All right, Alex, thank you very much. To another landmark decision right now, this time out of Iceland, new this morning, the parliament there creating a new bill that would require public and private businesses to prove they offer equal pay to all employees. It would be the first.